All right, guys, what have we got here? 24 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2022. Jamar Chase, the man who could hardly see a thing at the beginning of the season, but came through to have an absolute stellar year. Um, yeah, the memes were bountiful. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. The memes were everywhere. I, I even shared it. I shared it. Um, and f <laughs> I'm pretty... No, no, it was... Uh, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure the meme actually had that basketball player that goes like this. And, um, and it said at the top, when Jamar Chase says he can't see the two lines or something like that. Anyways, guys, it was an absolute laugh. We all had our, our worries, to be fair. I had Justin Jefferson in my, in my fantasy team, not Jamar Chase. So I was okay. But uh, definitely enjoyed the memes. He came back like an absolute legend and lands himself at number 24 on the list. I mean, this video is one of the most popular, I must admit. It's had 250,000 views. It's only been up for a few days. And um, yeah, we're getting into it. I mean, at the moment, it's superstar after superstar. And, you know, if you aren't, if you aren't impressed at the beginning of a video, by the end of it, you're, you're bound to be. So uh, with all that in mind, let's get into it. He's advanced, man. I mean, that's why you get drafted first round because you, you, you know, you're you're ready. You could play like a pro bowler right away, and that's exactly what he did. In Jamar Chase's final year at LSU, he caught 20 touchdowns from Joe Burrow en route to a national championship. Yup. Jason Burrow reunited in Cincinnati and picked up right where they left off. That was fun. Let's keep it going. Burrow's going to fling it high. And Imagine that. How good is that? The two guys from college link up again. I'm going to a national championship. 20 touchdowns. You know, that, that connection's there, clearly. And to bring them both into the same team, I mean, were the coaches planning on that? Because if they weren't, then they've just hit the jackpot. For Chase, he's got to step on his defender again. Catches at the 10. Two defenders go down. Week after week, week after week, they're just bombing on people. Just like they were in college. Chase finished the season with 13 touchdown receptions, most in the AFC, and 1,455 receiving yards, the most ever by a rookie. He was named the Offensive Rookie of the Year and paced the Bengals to their best season in over three decades. I think he has uh, sneak. Yeah, he'll be a fan favorite. Sneaky speed. He doesn't look as fast as he is. Gonna run a slant and gonna run a go and runs right by. Oh, he's got to be quick. And with that in mind, let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Jamar Anthony Chase is 22 years of age. March 1st, 2000. I think that's the first player we've seen born in 2000 thus far. Six foot, 201 pounds. LSU 2018 to 2020 in the 2021 draft got picked up in the first round with pick number five. He was the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2021. Now prior to that, it was uh, Justin Herbert. Made the Pro Bowl, made a second team All-Pro selection. Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Year, PFWA All-Rookie Team, CFP National Champion, as we know, in 2019. So he, he must have played a, an, another season at college. But as I can see here, he opted out due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So effectively, he only played two seasons in college. But after, um, after uh, you know, going for 1,780 yards at an average of 21.2, and 20 touchdowns? I mean, you would sit out. Your draft stock surely are already up there. Okay, so so this man said, oh, he he doesn't seem so he doesn't seem as fast as what he is. Uh, he runs a 4-3-4-40 yard dash. That's in the top one percent. Make it two percent, maybe even five, but no more, as far as wide receivers are concerned. 41 inches on the vertical jump. That's the that's the best we've seen thus far. 11 foot on the broad jump. Oh my God. Those are some unbelievable stats. They were from a pro day, not from the combine. 17 games played, 17 games started, 81 receptions for 1,455 yards at an average of 18. Longest of 82, 13 touchdowns, 7 rushing attempts for 21 yards at an average of 3. Uh, longest of 10, 2 fumbles, 1 lost. 
Okay, so 81 receptions is not going to be, it's not going to be the, the, you know, huge. That's that's not that's not huge. That's that's an average of what, like five receptions per game, but he gets almost 1,500 yards. Now that is uh, that's that's efficient, in a word. That is efficient. And uh, look, with all that, oh my God, he got 266 yards in one game. 266. Not only set a Bengals record for receiving yards, but it also set an NFL record for most receiving yards in a game by a rookie. 200. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. And three touchdowns during the Bengals' 34-31 division clinching win in week 17. Oh, my God. He's like... He's born in 2000. Odell Beckham 2.0. We always appreciate the guys like Odell... Yeah, look, I wasn't I wasn't around the traps of the NFL to see Odell in his first few years, but I assume he would have come in the league in similar fashion to what Jamar Chase is doing. So that's that's a pretty good analogy. And Julio Jones and Jerry Rice, these guys can catch a slant and take it yard. And he's one of them. Slant caught by Chase, runs to the 30, no. breaks out of the pass. No. With a 4-3-4, it's over. Touchdown. Oh, How great is Jamar Chase. It's over. Man. Like, I think, like, the biggest thing was the release, threatening them vertical, making the catch, and then, obviously, the finish is why he's so special. Got great body awareness. He's the electricity, like right now. I remember he caught a ball on us. It was like a 10 yard out. He took it 80 yards, like to the crib. Well, there's the explosive that we're talking about. You wouldn't think that this one was going to go to the house. Yeah, he had like 200, like at halftime. It was embarrassing. It was Tiger on Tiger crying. That's how I like to describe it. <laughs> In Cincinnati's two games against the Chiefs, Chase scored four touchdowns. The Bengals won both, including a stunner at Kansas City for the AFC Championship. And I said, hey, you're going to be the greatest receiver to ever do this. And I sat here and told you that between me and you, don't ever let nobody tell you nothing different, bro. Go get you a ring, bring that back home, and handle business. Fuck, imagine that. After losing... The championship game, knowing that you're not going to the Super Bowl, but giving all of that energy plus more into um, your opposite man, telling him, go get that ring, bring it home. I mean, that's, that's yeah, I tell you what, that's probably the most powerful moment of that video. And I always say that, is that the, the moments between players at the end of games are, I'm so glad they're mic'd up, you know what I mean? And that's something the rugby players don't do. We don't mic that shit up. We don't mic those conversations up between players and you know, all rugby fans see from the outside is, is, a, is, a, is a smiling face from a losing man. And they hate on that. But they don't know what goes, what the conversations are, you know what I mean? It's, it's all love. It's love. You know, they put their absolute body on the line. And yet, an armchair fan can sit back and see a smile from a losing player and think that he, he didn't try. You know, he didn't want to win. And it's just wrong. Jamar Chase, what else needs to be said? I'm 10 years older than the guy. So, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, what an absolute pleasure. And the next one, we're looking at Trayvon Diggs. We just saw his brother. Let's see what the defensive-minded brother has to say. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.